Hi everyone, this is RevitUni.com and in today's tutorial we continue the process of learning Revit 2026 where I will show you how to move around 3D model and uh, rotate the model, zoom in and zoom out, etc. So without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. Here we have a 3D model, sample 3D model that we were using on the previous lessons. If you don't remember how to go to 3D view, simply click on the house symbol on the quick access toolbar. Now, when I roll my mouse, I can zoom in and out of this view. Secondly, I can rotate the view by pressing shift and scroll mouse button. So you see that the symbol of the cursor mouse cursor changes into these two arrows and this way I can rotate the entire model. You may ask where is the center of rotation? So center of rotation is the last selected element. Let's select this windmill and you can see that now when I rotate the model it looks like it's center. If I select this tree now it's the tree. If I unselect, it still remembers the last selected object. So if you sometimes uh, in a situation where this rotation looks pretty awkward, then remember to select something, right? So if we are zoomed in and want to look closer into this chart, just select it. Rotation can be done also using view cube that it's in the corner. So you have front, back, right and left elevations which will help you navigate through more flat views also in 3D and sometimes I'm using this view also in the modeling process so if you are a more advanced user you will spend a lot of time in 3D view as well so I can go for example to top and work on a floor plan. Remembering, of course, to choose the correct reference plane, but that's something that we will discuss in the future lessons. If you want to move around the 3D view, you can also use something that is called navigation wheel. And here you have each movement split into small functions like just orbit, right? Zoom in and out up and down right this is barely visible uh, in this view uh, and pan right i didn't show you how to pan without the steering wheel so it's just to press the scroll of the mouse button and you simply you see this cross of arrows and this is how you move around i will show you maybe this steering wheel when i'm in the 3d perspective view so let's look for something like that I think it will be under 3D, let's say, kitchen, okay? It took a while for it to open because it was in realistic view. Um, so I will activate this steering wheel right now. But look, it's not working because sometimes 3D views can be locked. And this is locked view. I can see that so I can unlock it here. Uh, so let's choose the navigation wheel and here I can do this small movements. This is especially useful in the smaller spaces in the interior. So this is mainly uh, where it's used, where you want to set up the camera and work on the particular perspective, having this total control over the view. And also in the 3D perspective, we have something that it's called walk. This is very sensitive tool but I will try to use it gently and you can see that I can move around the kitchen a lot. Okay, if I, you see, if I move the arrow too fast forward, in effect, I'm far away from the building right now. And sometimes you want to just simply rewind. So rewind tool lets you go back in time and you see, you can choose the exact frame shot that you liked, okay? In Revit 2026, we have something that is called accelerated graphics. So we can always 
try to activate that. Oh look, the, the setting has changed. So I guess it also affects the, the view. I haven't tried it yet. So yeah, if your graphic card is not handling the environment well, you can always try to uh, try to activate that. Remember that zoom in and out and pan will be also useful on flat views like floor plan or elevations. On top of the flat views on the view cube, we have also corner views. So we can create this axonometry like that easily. This is it in today's tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And remember to subscribe to my channel and visit my site revituni.com.